Hallo, mijn naam is Zandri en ik ben 26 jaar oud van Centurion. Die huidige onderlaag wat ik gebruik, werkt niet voor mij zo so goed nie. Ik sukkel om mijn acnemerken te cover. Ik sukkel al 6 jaar met mijn onderlaag om hier echt um, fit te krijgen voor mij. Iets wat heel dag hou, wat niet kijk hier ook niet. Um, ik heb het voor op Facebook gekregen en ik heb alle video's gekeken als ik al werk. En ik is baal opgewonden om te zien hoe vandaag gaan uitdraaien. Dus so jullie moeten ingeschakeld blijven tot het einde om te zien hoe dit gaan uitdraaien en wat mijn opinie is van die onderlaag. Oké, okay, so beautiful loves, this is Zandre. I am so looking forward to helping her with her makeup needs. Starting off with Photoshop Primer. Now I need to explain to you the new formula. It is now packaged like this in a 30 ml uh, tube. So it's easier for dispensing. And also we have included the mattifying powder in the new formula. So now you're going to find that your new formula is super matte. So you can actually even skip on the mattifying powder if you want because the new formula of Photoshop Primer is super matte and keeps you um, dry the entire day. And also it's got anti-inflammatory ingredients in it, which is perfect for acne prone skin, for inflamed skin, um, like Sandra's here. And the feedback that I've been getting from some of the models that I've been using it on is that it has been toning down their acne and their breakouts significantly. So that's a huge plus for my clients with acne. So I'm just gonna rub this in. Close your eyes for me. Okay, so this formula really does take some um, time to get absorbed because of the extra ingredients. So you can dot it on with your concealer brush and rub it in with your fingers. This is the only time that I will allow you to use your fingers and also with all of the sanitizing I'm assuming that there is going to be less breakout so it is safe to use your fingers when applying the Photoshop primer but only for the step not for foundation. Okay so I'm just applying a little bit extra on her inflamed areas so that it just absorbs the oil um, throughout the day. Next step, I'm using my bronze for corrector on her pigmentation. Now, with our foundation, you don't need to use the green corrector on her red area, so I'm completely going to bypass those areas, but I'm just applying where there's uh, pigmentation or any unevenness uh, in terms of dark blotches, blemishes. So that's where I'm applying the bronze for corrector foundation. I find a lot of ladies are using too much of this and you know, it tends to make your foundation darker. So please ladies, less is more when it comes to the corrector. Next, I'm applying the Fair Foundation with the flat brush, ladies. We are out of stock of the, the flat brush, but you can use your concealer or corrector brush to just dot it on and then use your foundation brush to blend in. Okay, if you look at Sandra, you can see that her face is pale, her neck is pale, and then her chest is a little bit sunburned. So I'm going to blend, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to blend it in to her chest. You can see it blends in beautifully with her chest. She's also got uh, some pores here and I'm sure she's exfoliating. Yes, that's the culprit. So no exfoliating if you have acne and no exfoliating in winter because that's just dragging all the bacteria across your face and spreading the infection onto your entire face. And wearing masks the whole day doesn't help because your mouth has the most amount of bacteria. So it's just uh, adding to all of the breakouts. So just bear that in mind. 
Now I'm going to blend with our foundation brush. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more foundation underneath her eyes with the concealer brush. <clears throat> smaller areas, smaller brushes. Next, I'm going to seal her face with number 10 powder, our lightest powder, because she is very light. Dip into the powder and brush away. Okay, so I'm going to let some powder bake on these areas here. On the areas that are prone to breakouts so that it absorbs and ensures that those areas stays blotch free for the entire day. Open your eyes up for me. So I'm just going to let that sit for five minutes before I spray her face. And in the interim, I'm going to do her brows. So I'm using number five brow tattoo on her because she's quite light. And the number two would have been too dark. Next, I'm just cleaning around the brows with the Fair Foundation. So today I'm going to be promoting our Miss Rose palette as our contour and highlighter palette, eyeshadow palette, and your day and your evening palette. So I'm actually going to be contouring her nose and her cheeks using this palette here. So I'm going to start up with this as her blusher. Highly pigmented, as you can see, just one touch into the, the eyeshadow or slash blusher. And it gives you vibrant color. And that's just your day your day blushes so your night ones are even more vibrant smile for me smile 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 turn still using that then i'm going to use a lighter pink on her cheeks which is this smile And before I spray her cheeks, I'm just going to brush off the excess powder that I applied um, to bake. Close your eyes for me. And then I'm going to spray her cheeks and highlight. Turn this way. Right, now I'm going to spray, fixing spray. I'm just going to spray. Keep your eyes closed. I'm going to spray two spritz and then another and then immediately after that I'm going to highlight the cheekbones using this and a combination so it's a combination of these two colors here
Next, I'm using this as a shading color, starting off with her right side, because she's got puffy eyes. So just gonna take away the puffiness. Then I'm using this to contour her nose. She doesn't need a lot, so I'm doing it very light because she's got quite a pointy nose. So there's no need to overdo it. Cutting the tip, make her nose look shorter. Highlighting the center and just blending it out a bit more. Next, I'm just going to prepare her lashes and do her liner and mascara while that dries. Keep your eyes closed. Gonna do liner for you. And then I'm going to reinforce that with the number five brow tattoo because I don't want her lines to be too dark, being so fair. Face the camera, don't close it too tight, just close it gently. While that's drying, I'm going to correct any um, anything that needs to be filled in on her brows. Still waiting for the lashes to dry. Very light framing at the bottom with a brown eyeshadow. Turn more towards me. And then I'm going to extend the shading color down at the bottom in a bit. Just turn that way. Using the maroon underneath. And turn the other eye, look up. Turn up again. And then you can look forward and close your eyes. I'm going to put your lashes on. They may feel like curtains. <laughs> mm -mm. Just stay as is, perfect. So I'm gonna lift your lid a little bit, right? But just leave it gentle, gently closed. Turn back to the camera, and while that's drying, I'm going to do her, and while that's drying, I'm going to do her lips.
Okay, so my loves, this is Zandri for her often look. If you'd like to know what I've used on her face, a list of products, you can WhatsApp me on 079-272-4713. Remember, ladies, to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until the next lovely tutorial, bye! I say, hello, this is my YouTube product, and it like wonder. Like, I'm so happy with how it looks. The product sits like on your face. It feels flat, not as if I'm wearing anything. I would definitely recommend that you buy this makeup cap. The underlay is so nice. It's so nice to wear. I'm absolutely happy. It was a very nice experience, and I would definitely recommend you all to use this product. Thank you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! I'm really gonna cry. <laughs> sure, it covered so nicely. It feels amazing. It feels actually so natural. And I'm so happy with the coverage of it. It actually doesn't look like I've got anything on and it feels amazing. How did it feel when I was applying it? Did it feel like, you know, spitting on layers and layers? No, it felt like just a cream going on. And it feels lightweight and it feels, oh, and it blended so nicely. So you do know that you don't need a concealer. All you need is a corrector yeah. and the right foundation. Yes, I see that. Oh my goodness. It's not so nice. What does this do to you personally? I think it's a confidence boost, major confidence boost. Especially with my, my bad skin. I was so shy, I didn't like talking to people, didn't like going places. I didn't want anyone to see my skin. But what, now... What can you see about the Photoshop primer and what it did to your pores and your skin? Well, I can see no pores at all. Yeah, and covered so nicely. There's no pores, and it feels natural, and it moves. <laughs> I like it a lot. Thank you. <laughs>